automated yield optimizer. In today's video, we're going to go over a pretty insane Cardano project. And this is not just a DeFi project, but it's also much more than that. Let's get right into it. First things first, though, if you want to earn passive ADA on your ADA, please consider staking with the Jack stake pool to help decentralize Cardano, earn passive ADA on your ADA, and also help me in my mom's basement. That being said, let's get into the video. And right away, I'm going to tell you this protocol, this project is not only a DeFi project. Um, not only are they based on yields, they're also going to be a DEX, although they're not listed here, and they're going to have their own wallets. And of course, they're obviously going to have some yields. We're talking about Genius Yield today, okay? And honestly, I can't believe I haven't covered this project before. I do have a lot of DEXs that I like that we saw up here um, that I really like. I really like Maladex um, for some reasons that come in line with Genius Yield and their DEX and what they're trying to do. Um, giving a lot of options on automation and also tools that just help the user interact with the markets in a way where they can have more market efficiency or capital efficiency rather. So I'm going to start this video out by going through their website and just explaining what Genius Yield is all about. And it is quite surprising. It's taken me this long to get to this point where I have to make a video because usually something this big and something this cool and also well polished from what I can see so far. I would have been on earlier, but there is so much going on the Cardano ecosystem. It is it is mind blowing. So that being said, the main focus is to be an automated yield optimizer. OK, to basically have where you can put your money in, earn some yield, optimize that yield, make sure it is you know giving you a good return on your money. Your capital is being more efficient. And this is really good. If you saw yesterday's video or two days ago video on capital efficiency, I'll leave that link down in the description. It helps the markets in general. It helps everyone's money go around. It's not a perfect system, but optimizing your capital and making it more efficient, yielding you more money is the goal for everyone and for a fair and free market. So with that being said, that's the main goal of Genius Yield, okay? Doing this in an automated way now is also very interesting using artificial intelligence. We're not going to go too far into that, but this is built on Cardano, okay? This is a very interesting platform right they could have brought a lot of these ideas to a different system a lot of them don't quite work um, outside of the extended utxo model and this platform will be utilizing the base layer that cardano is built on which is the extended utxo model um, compared to ethereum which is more of an account based model and there is a lot of benefits to that which i'm not going to go over in today's video but this platform definitely will utilize Okay, so why Genius Yield? And in this part of their website, they basically say, well, DeFi provides many investment opportunities. Managing capital is both complex, as you may know, doing any kind of thing with DeFi, it's very confusing. You have to jump through 10 hoops to actually get any positive returns. And even then, you're risking a lot of impermanent loss when you go into these yield farms and these liquidity providing positions. Genius Yield is aiming to be an all-in-one solution, which we all know Everything in one place is usually more convenient for the user and is going to be where people reside at. They're not going to want to jump through 10 hoops. They're going to want one hoop to jump through simple, clean, and use that platform specifically. That being said, they are going to allow users to benefit from this using advanced algorithmic trading strategies and yield optimization opportunities on their platform. And their smart liquidity management protocol is intuitive, hassle-free, and secure. Most importantly, Genius Yield minimizes risk and maximizes profit, which is exactly what you want to hear for any kind of platform that is called Genius Yield. So their main goal here also is to just democratize DeFi, basically make it accessible for anyone. And this is very much in line and comes into focus when I think of Maladex, another DEX that I really like. And there's a few reasons for this. Having access to DeFi is awesome right now. Um, and the power that DeFi brings is awesome right now. But as I mentioned earlier, all the hoops you have to jump through and to get an average person on a DeFi is just not something that you're probably going to be able to do unless they're really interested in crypto and they take the deep dive. They take a deep dive into all of this it's not going to be easy and having a central hub and having applications that focus on making it available for everyone are very important. 
And there is a lot of things that Genius Shield is doing to help cover that. Don't think they mention it in this part of the website, but I have read on their other documents that they will be supporting and onboarding for fiat on ramps to their application, which is another huge up and prevents a lot of hoops from being jumped through when you can just go ahead and deposit money onto a platform and directly have access to it, even in a decentralized way. As I mentioned right now, the DeFi world is way too complex and Genius is aiming to make it as simple as deposit your tokens into some smart liquidity vaults, select and customize your liquidity management strategy, probably based on risks and other factors, but put in a simple UI that people can understand and watch your assets grow and take profits when you need to. Of course, the number doesn't always just go up, so this is very nuanced, but I really like the idea of what Genius is putting into proposal here, and it does make a lot of sense, and we need it in a market where everyone is still so confused on the difference between Bitcoin and Ethereum, what are smart contracts, having a way for people to interact with the system without even knowing they're interact interacting with the system directly is probably the most logical way forward. Already, Genius Yield has proposed some pretty awesome features from smart swaps, concentrated liquidity, smart liquidity vaults, and auto compounding on your positions for greater returns and allowing you to sit back and relax. There's a lot of things that Genius Yield is doing. And to be honest, these are awesome, but they aren't even all of the reasons why I'm interested in Genius Yield as the roadmap and the team behind it also propel the protocol or the project a lot in my terms of legitimacy and also how far this project could go on delivering these promises they're talking about in the website main page. Speaking of an all-in-one platform, they are going to have their own wallet as well with those direct fiat deposits that I mentioned earlier and this will be the center of starting to connect people from you know traditional finance to decentralized finance. Also, something interesting before we get to the roadmap, the tokenomics and all the really juicy details is that they're going to have a genius academy where anyone can give information and get information to understand what they're using and the world of DeFi. Now, in terms of the roadmap, Genius Yield has gotten pretty far already. And right now, the marketing, the website, everything is very polished from what I can see. And it looks very professional, very structured, which I like. OK, and the UI is very good. Everything is giving a good idea of what the platform could look like in terms of simplicity and user accessibility, which so far looks good. That being said, the most important things to know is right now they do have an initial stake pool offering. We're going to go over more on that in a sec. They have been doing a marketing campaign, which obviously has paid effect because somehow I came across this platform and I'm really liking what I'm seeing. And they also have the DEX white paper now released, which I will leave linked down in the description. It's about 28 pages of pretty good content. It doesn't get too technical, um, like the Maladex white paper being like 90 pages, but it does show a lot of what the DEX is trying to do. It gives you a good sneak peek into everything behind the scenes. Coming up in the first quarter of 2022, the one we're in right now, there is a DEX testnet planned, which is pretty big and I think will show the promise and you know show what they have to offer in terms of, okay, are they just saying we're going to do these things? Or are they actually doing them? And are they implemented on testnet? How well do they work? Obviously, it's going to be harder to test on testnet without the real world environment, but it will give us a good indication of how far along they are about all the features we just talked about and implementing them on the actual decks and and their protocol they also have this quarter coming up genius academy and the ambassador program not really sure what the ambassador program is but the genius academy will be a hub of knowledge and that's always nice to see people getting educated in 2022 quarter two probably the biggest thing uh, that everyone's gonna be waiting for is the mainnet decks launch so sunday swap just launched we have muesli swap launched um Right now, MinSwap is testnet. They're going to launch soon on mainnet. Uh, Maladex, not really sure when their mainnet is going to be. Another good DEX. Lots of DEX is launching. Quarter two, 2022, Genius Yield is preparing to launch. They're also going to have a reward program. They're going to have the smart liquidity vault feature implemented on the launch, it seems, or close after launch in the same quarter. And then a full white paper on not just the DEX, but the entire platform as a whole. 
This year, they also have planned some more big things after the DEX launch, including public sales, exchange listing, and then genius governance, which is pretty awesome. And then lastly, in the third quarter, 2022, smart contract or smart liquidity vault launch fiat genius wallet which is pretty huge the genius wallet we're talking about is planned for this year i think that will onboard a lot of new users not only to cardano but to DeFi in general then we also have in the last quarter 2022 we have marlo like smart swap customization and a genius vault strategy competition so some pretty awesome things i'm mostly looking forward to this dex launch and the test net as i will be testing it out and I also want to share a few more things on why I'm very excited for this project as I've been looking more into it. And before I look at the team and show you those things, I also want to mention we have one more part of the roadmap, which is part of 2023 Q2, and that is the Genius Mobile App Aggregator driven multi-protocol, yeah, a lot of big words, a yield dashboard and an auto compounding system within the mobile app. So all things to onboard users to decentralized finance, and it's happening on Cardano via Genius Yield using automated yield optimization. Okay, but I know I've said a lot of big words in this, and to be honest, a lot of them are buzzwords, and a lot of them are, that's really interesting, you know, they pull you in words. Now, that being said, there is a lot of actual walk behind the talk here just seeing as the partner and CTO of Genius Yield is Lars. And I honestly am not going to try to pronounce his last name. I've tried before. It didn't go well. But if you don't know Lars, he's the director of education at Input Output, uh, which is one of the founding partners of Cardano. He is, yes, the CTO of Genius Yield. And he has a PhD in pure mathematics and then very passionate also about Haskell, which is the functional programming language that Cardano is smart contracts are based around. And none other than Lars is the person who is behind the Plutus Pioneers Academy, which is basically, he's the person who's training a lot of people, a lot of developers on how to use Cardano Smart Contracts, how to interact with Plutus, and how to actually structure their DEXs and, and their protocols. So he's like one of the big guns behind a lot of the people learning how Cardano works and how they can use the platform, how they can develop on it. And I do think that will play a major role in delivering a lot of these features that utilize Cardano's extended UTXO model and bringing them to us through a mobile app and also through the DEX. There also is a number of other people working on the project. There is a pretty large team right now with a widespread of different roles. And that's always nice to see in building something this big that there is a lot of people supporting the growth. Now I want to cover the tokenomics because tokenomics are really important. And this is for the GENS tokens. These are the platform's native assets and these will be used for a couple different things. I believe rewards for yields on the platform also going to be used for governance inside of the protocol and some more interesting things. So these probably will have a lot of value. They do remind me kind of the LQ token. At least that's what I can compare them to in another native asset. Um, you know, I don't know if these will be speculatively driven to the moon, but I can say that it is looking very good for someone who would hold these tokens um, if the platform is going to excel and provide in all their promises. Also keep in mind, I'm just a guy in my mom's basement, definitely not a financial advisor. So please, please, please do your own research and absolutely make your own decisions. That being said, we have some interesting tokenomics to look at. So usually tokenomics of things like yield platforms or DeFi protocols, I prefer them to be a lot less team based. And in this case, they are a lot less team based. I've seen a lot worse than 18% for a DEX and also a DeFi protocol. So tokenomics look pretty good overall. The ISPO right now, which I'm going to go over the pools that are active and how you can participate is about 10% of the total supply and the max supply is 100 million. So the supply is actually quite low compared to Cardano supply, which is around 34 plus billion. Um, in comparison, this is much, much less. So there is going to be allocation for a seed round. That's been complete. 20% has been sold or allocated already. ISPO 10%. I believe we're a third way they've done that. Team 18%. Um, this probably will be vested 
I can't really find too much information about this right now. Um, I will be looking more into this. And then we also have a marketing and partnership, which is kind of in line with team. Um, it's not exactly public. Uh, really, the public allocation is what I'm worried about. And we have 10% here, public presale, that's 13%. Token liquidity, that's going to be just providing on the platform, that's kind of public. And we also have ecosystem development funds, which is probably going to be governed by the token or the DAO. We have a rewards program, which is mostly public. Then we have the DAO treasury. So overall, good tokenomics, nothing too red flaggy. Would like some more detail on some of these numbers and the vesting schedule in the team, maybe some more transparency, but overall, no major red flags. I'm really liking what I'm seeing and I will be participating with probably 10% or I am participating with 10% of my Cardano portfolio put into this ISPO as well as 10% into Maladex just to spice things up and put some eggs in some new baskets. Speaking of the ISPO or ISO initial stake pool offering, the initial stake offering, whatever you want to call it, there is going to be one for gens. It's active right now. You can stake with either right now. It's gens one, gens two, or gens three. I think those are the only three pools that are active. The number two one is 50% rewards, 50% ADA. The number one and three are going to be not so much. They're going to be 99% and 1% ADA. So you're going to basically getting no ADA returns, but you're going to be farming up a bunch of the gens rewards as tokens. So if you have, let's say, um, you know, a thousand or 2,600 ADA, let's say, and you're staking for majority right now, which I believe is there's around 26, 25 epochs left in the ISO. You're going to get around 174 of these tokens. Now, with the supply of 100 million, that's quite good. You know, that's quite phenomenal. I do think that is a good amount. If they're worth anything, I think these probably would be worth more than the ADA rewards if the Genius Yield platform does pay off. Now, that being said, if the Genius Yield platform does not go to the moon or not deliver all its promises, and maybe it's not that active, maybe it doesn't get used that much then your ADA might be more, be worth more in the end. But it's up to you to take that risk. That's your own decision you have to make. Um, I'll be using 10% of my portfolio for this. Okay, not all of it. 10% put in a new wallet um, on my Harbor wallet, new account, and then just staked to one of the Gens rewards pools. Now that you know that I am staking to earn some of this platform's native token, because it's interesting, and I really think there's a good shot this platform will perform and deliver on their promises. I also want to mention that they have been gaining quite the amount of traction in terms of eyes from the Colorado community, and also their development updates are pretty awesome. Seeing this from a platform or protocol, a uh, YouTube channel where you know they have weekly updates, they have monthly updates too, polished updates in formats that basically tell hey we're doing things um, we're updating you on things we have amas and we're broadcasting all this information for anyone to see it this is huge for a platform and i do think this will take it to another level in terms of marketing as anyone can come over and see a lot of transparency from the team and see their faces see who they're interacting with and hear what these people have to say and see how passionate they are about what they're building to be honest i missed a boat before on something like lq token i made videos on it they didn't have their token released then it came out you people were selling it on muse muesli swap for seven ada and i looked at it i said whoa that's pretty pricey and then a few days later, it was at 62 ADA per. So things happen fast. I am going to be participating in more ISOs with small percentages of my portfolio, probably not 10% for other ones, but 10% for Genius Yield and 10% for Maladex ISPOs to just make sure that I'm putting some more eggs in more Cardano baskets. Yes, pretty much all my net worth is still in Cardano, a little bit in Ergo. But that's really what I'm saying here in terms of a, a portfolio point of view, in terms of a investing point of view, I do think there's a lot of opportunities going around and putting my eggs in more baskets is going to yield greater returns if one of them happens to blow up, an example like Liquid did. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please smash the like button and also consider staking with the Jack Stake Pool. That being said, I hope you guys have a great freaking day and I'll see you in the next video.